Hey, Funko Monsters, it's me, the Funko Monster, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Funko Pop Marvel 80 Years X-Men's Iceman. This is... That was a mouthful. Um, so... Let's just jump right into it, I guess. Uh, I'm pretty excited to review this pop because I've had him for a while and I just haven't gotten around to reviewing him. But you can see Marvel 80 Years on top there. It looks really cool. Iceman there, Iceman, Iceman everywhere. Iceman there looks pretty cool. There is the back, and I will take a second to appreciate the art on that box. That comic book cover there looks really nice. Iceman kind of has no face there, but it's fine. It's whatever. It still looks really cool. I really do like that. It's Magneto. The strangest superheroes of all. Yeah, um, not really. Um, anyways, let's take a look at the pot. And uh, I want to give a little history on the Funko Pop of Iceman. <laughs> the Funko, Funko has not had a lot of good luck with this character. The first time they ever released him was back when uh, there was the blue box X-Men pops. They still do some to this day. They've calmed down on it, but they did a lot of awesome pops back then. They did Archangel, Storm from the 80s. Or, I mean, like, you know, Teenage Storm, essentially. Um, who else did they do? Juggernaut, Sabretooth, uh, Quicksilver, a couple other ones. And, uh... Those were really cool, and they did make an Iceman pop, and everyone was crapping on it hard, because, like, it, it didn't look cool, I guess. I, I don't know. I'm going to pull up a picture, because I was going to save this to do a Versus video, but I, I'm honestly happy with this one alone. Um, you know, I, I don't need the, sec the other one. You know, that one Iceman is enough Iceman. He's not really that big of a character for me to want to have more than one. Although, yes, I, I really do like the look of him. I just, I mean, I, I think this is a little better. But everyone crapped on it. This picture looks really cool, but it looked horrible in person. And it was just, it was, oh, okay, yeah. here we go. There we go. And, uh, yeah. And then now, you know, th this pop came out. Everyone loves it. I mean, at least no one's crapping on it, you know. And Funko decides to make a Funko Shop exclusive flocked version, and everyone's now kind of crapping on it again. Um, I think that looks cool. I think that has the potential to be cool, but it is the Funko Shop, so I'm not going to be buying it. I don't know why I'm looking at the other ones on the fucking thing. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so let's get, take a look, a closer look at the pop, and I think this is a really nice looking pop. Um, I love the clear plastic. I like how it gets a little you know, snowier on top, because it's probably his hair, and it looks really cool, uh, there's some, like, weird, you know, I don't, I don't know, I feel like it could be smooth, but I would rather it be completely smooth, maybe you just have the, like, really bumpy feeling, but not, like, these huge bumps, but, uh, yeah, I love the clear plastic, these are very translucent in some parts, and it looks really cool, I really do like it, he's holding a little snowball there, the pose is really cool. The pose is very uh, Silver Surfer-like, too, which is pretty cool. But I love the uh, the base. The base looks awesome. It looks like he's sliding into whatever, you know, and it looks really cool. Here's the bottom. I totally didn't almost drop it. Uh, but, yeah, very nice color variation in this. There's, like, a nice wash between white and the translucent blue. There's more white on the base. But the base is where it really all is, and you can see some, like, ice crystals forming and everything. It looks really cool. I really do like this. It kind of looks like Water Man in some parts, but... <laughs> or like Hydro Man or whatever. Um, but... Uh, yeah, it does look cool nonetheless. I, I'm happy with this. I'm definitely not going to be... I mean, look, okay. If I go to, like, a convention and I see the other Iceman pop for, like, ten bucks, that yeah, sure, I'm not paying, like... Any more than that. Maybe 15 depending on how my day is on during that particular con. But, you know, if I ever see him for cheap, I'll definitely pick him up. Just to do a versus video. Maybe then I'll do a giveaway. And that's actually a good ease into the next thing. So, I am doing a giveaway at uh, 200 subscribers. I'm going to be announcing the giveaway at uh, 150 subscribers. And we're... Last guy I checked, we were pretty close. Uh, let me hop over to YouTube Studio. Um, and guys, uh, 
if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below um, while well, you still can, just in case. Uh, so I did look into it, and some of my videos were flagged, um, but uh, made for kids. But, like, on my personal channel, I did a review of the Funko Pop Spider-Man. That wasn't marked for kids, but it was odd because all my other spider oh, like most of my other Spider-Man videos were marked for kids. But then the Funko Pop Hannibal Lecter review got marked for kids. So don't trust this. If you're a YouTube uh, YouTuber, YouTube content creator, whatever you want to call yourself, you know, yeah, uh, don't trust this thing. I mean, you know, just take it with a grain of salt. Obviously, I'm gonna listen to it, and the ones I disagree with, I mark back to not made for kids. But uh, it's only, you know, a few more weeks until January 1st to see what hell we'll bring over. But, anyways, we are at 142 subscribers, so 8 more subscribers and I will announce the 200 subscriber giveaway. So, make sure you, you do subscribe and share this video around say, oh, this guy's doing you know, a giveaway, you should just subscribe to him and just, you know, how about, you know. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, like I said, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thanks for watching.